Welcome back, everyone. This is the long-awaited bug test for our eight different paint protection film comparison test here. And what I have done is I've acquired about 30 crickets from a local pet store. And I've also acquired a slingshot. <laughs> so what we're going to do, if you put two and two together, we're going to launch those bad boys at this hood and we're going to make sure that we get at least two of them in every square. So <laughs> have my daughter here to help me and she didn't want to do the slingshot and she didn't want to pass them to me. So I had to kind of do it all. So just fast forward here, show you the process. They, uh, they kept wanting to jump out of my hands as I was putting them in the slingshot. So it, it didn't quite go as smooth as smoothly as I thought it would in my head, but that's all right. It was, it was more fun than it probably should have been. And my, my, my daughter was there to, to help air quotes help. So after this, we're going to bake it using an infrared lamp, the temperature of the hood up to around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 93 or 94 degrees Celsius. And the point of that is it's basically imitating the summer heat and the heat from your engine on the hood and usually around that 180 to 200 degree mark is kind of what you're gonna see so what is that 80 85 to 93 degrees Celsius so here's the fresh after the damage was done so let's say you're driving through a whole bunch of bugs on a B road at, in the evening on a humid summer evening, and this is what you end up with. So after we bake them, we're going to let this hood sit and continue to bake in the Texas summer here for about another three or four days. So really make sure that it has the best opportunity to etch this film that it can. And so now just checking temperatures as we go here, I'm going to let it sit for about three or four hours like this. And so 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit is 38 degrees Celsius. So there you are, 130. So that's 50 degrees. So we've still got a, a little bit more to go here. This is an aluminum hood, so it's going to absorb the heat very quickly and hold on to it. Here's about another hour later. We're up to 165, 170. So we're well over 100 degrees Celsius. I, I think I misspoke there. Two, let's see, 200 degrees is 93 degrees. So yeah, we're not quite at 100 degrees. All these metric and US conversions. All right, so here's after baking. And you can see the bug stains have turned almost white. There's no, they're no longer a dark stain after sitting here baking. So now, of course, it's time to wash it and see what the damage is. This is after sitting for four days outside after baking. You can see it's dusty and dirty. We're gonna do the usual rinse it off and then we're going to foam it down, let it sit for a minute, rinse it, foam it again, wash it and rinse and see if that did anything. So one thing that surprised me was the bug guts did come off fairly easily with just spraying it off. But if you look really closely at the hood, which I'll do here in a minute, it there's really a lot of damage that happened to this hood or that happened to the film, I guess. That, that's the point of the film is it's protecting the paint so you don't have to replace the paint. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna use Shine Supply Bug Off in diluted three to one, just as one final measure in case it can dissolve any remaining bug guts. And then of course we'll use our Metropolitan Vacuums Master Blaster to dry it off. Any of the equipment that I'm using or products uh, it'll be in the link in the description. So if you want to purchase any of those, appreciate it using my Amazon Associates link. 
and of course we have our trusty scan grip light that I have out so I'm so it'll pick it up better on camera so I can show you some of the damage to these films so we'll just go left to right and see how things look here so first up is flexi shield that flickering you see I'm gonna change the LED to the higher mode there we go now it'll stop so ignore anything else you're seeing we're just looking for bug guts but you can you, I say that and you can see the damage from the egg up there so there is there is bug etching on flexi shield now we're over here to Lumar SunTac and it does have some damage from the bug guts you can see that clear as day there so I'm, I'm interested to see if this is like our marker test where some of this will clear up on its own over time you know remember this this film is now seven months old of being outside 24 hours a day seven days a week so there's some more some more damage right there This film has been subjected to the scratch test. Oh, yeah, that was Expel. So here's Premium Shield. The little spot in the middle at the top was where we had accidentally overheated the film. And so that's what you were seeing up there. So Premium Shield did okay. It still it still had some etching. Uh, S Tech got it pretty good too so you can see it's it's etched that line that you see down the middle I think that was a defect in the film or something like that but never could get that out over to 3m pro v4 it looks like it's a it's another victim too it's got all the little bug splatter and guts and everything like that it's yep Ceramic Pro Kavaka. This one, believe it or not, I don't see a lot of bug gut bug guts etching on this, which kind of surprises me because it's pretty much been in last place in all the other tests, and it's uh, it seems to be a, the best resistance. Hexus, again, like the others, it's got bug etching in it. So, if you had to pick between all of those for strictly resistance to bug bug guts etching, uh, I would say Ceramic Pro comes out on top on this one. Uh, Premium Shield maybe second place, and I, that's about the only two that really stood out. The rest of them all seem to to get some etching. So, anyway, what do you think, guys? Uh, any surprises there? You know, let me know in the comments. As usual, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thanks, guys.